keep on seeing down bottom contestants for the last hits. He's pulling the creep wave back behind the tower. Uh, so they're going to just try and not lane top, pretty much. That's the answer to it. <laughs> yeah, this one here can own us. But now they've got that 2v1. They've caught white one alone. He's just got the one siphon. And starting to stack yeah. up the damage. Needs a little bit more. Level 2 comes around for force. And first blood. Yeah. By that was a big one. Hitting level 2. Uh, because he got Nevertox in level 1, which... We'll see if Gabby is uh, able to get out of harm's way. They do have a toss still, but... Force really low and not a whole heck of a lot of man. Actually, he's going to get he's chased dead. down. Gabby, he's going to find the kill. That's yeah. the value of boots early. And we'll have to just sort of stay there. Down bottom again. Uh, Wraith King seeming <laughs> to do pretty well as another Illuminate Blast is just barely off the mark there. And again, Carl may be in some trouble here. Doaving underneath Ooh, and Lelouch gets the kill. Man, Huge solo fight. kill. Yeah, solo kills mid are always big, and they're not down. They get the kill up top. The Viper is online with Urn charges. This is exactly what you mentioned, Lyrical. This Urn's going to come out, and if they get those charges, it could get ugly. Yeah. You know, you want to play it safe. You've got the lead. Don't make a play where you overcommit and give uh, a way for Storm to get back in this game. Well, Lucius teeping bottom. He's looking to make a move. Yeah, they do it. Cuckoo caught already right before level six, and the stun is there. Easy pickings. Yeah. So a nice rotation from Lelouch. They pressure mid. Top lane, though. Viper is constantly running up this lane. The thing is, I think this Viper needs to be ganked. That's one of the things with offlane Viper. It's a lane dominator, but at the same time, it's very susceptible to getting rotated on as Lelouch goes for top Ooh. room, but gets baited in. And can they no chase any more? Carl looking to chase for it. And it's going to be enough to get that kill. Xavius tries to get a follow-up, but it's not going to be there. So a nice play by Carl. TA Doom storm when they you know they're wraith king's just not a hero that's going to keep up naturally he's got you know armlet already online i would expect a deso build uh i think polaris just want to keep fighting oh. toss in bottom cuckoo nice the old classic and the avalanche secures the hit with the ice blast cuckoo gets that's ran great. down mavis finds the kill very nicely played it's now slightly swung t1's way but mm. I, and that's how i feel i feel like this game both teams have played their drafts how they're supposed to play out Illuminate plus Blinding Light just taking creep waves. Again, he doesn't care if he dies up here. He's only died once this entire game. I think that's what's been most impressed about his play. And this is just sometimes... This is... I mean, this is the weakness of Viper. It's just like the lack of catch and the inability to force plays. Natsumi mid. Oh, He's going to die once and make us die a second time. I don't know if he can yeah. get out of there. Wants to turn a fight, but this guy doesn't have a BKB. He's done. Oh, the oh, moment of weakness there, and that completely blows open this timing. They had 40 yep. seconds left on this Aegis. He's going for a Dragon Lance next. Like, he, is he really going to scale into the late game as, like, this big carry monster in the same way that we're going to see Cuckoo do? Seems unlikely. He's hoping. I mean, can be... Oh, oh, top lane. Nice play. And the Ice Blast followed up afterwards. Easy kill. Okay. okay. Suddenly, they hand one back. When he's with, got his team sitting behind him, that's where Reincarnation is a really annoying spell to deal with. Because Storm's not going to commit his entire mana pool. Heroes like Doom can't use ulti. Tia doesn't want to commit BKB just for an, a Reincarnation. Gabby jumps forward, yeah. finds Force, down to half Ooh, HP. No. Dead right at the start, but a huge Ice Blast is going to connect. But is it going to be enough damage afterwards? Cuckoo getting chased down by Natsumi, but it's not going to be enough. Lelouch tries to find one. They lose Mavis afterwards. Zephyr goes down, but the big kill onto wow. the Ember. It was not nearly enough follow-up damage. So they think that he's not going to be nice. able to be here for this fight. Uh, but it actually yep. won't matter because they just get the Roach anyway. <laughs> Never mind. And yeah, he's going to have a BKB and be able to like blink in and not get kited as badly. But it just feels like... He's got a really tough game uh, up his hands. Like, even though he's not afraid of Doom, everything else on the T1 side is so annoying. But maybe this is the fight with the blink in. Great Good force staff after away, but Ooh, the toss him. afterwards gets him in. Do they have okay. anything else extra? They still have that Aegis for two minutes, so they jump forward, break the Lincoln's one time. Carl gets the pull onto this Tiny, but will it be enough damage? He's able to go Scepter back away. Gabby is a menace over here. And his BKB trying to chase them down one by one, but with the BKB running out, it actually looks like they have to back away. They got to be careful about a couple of these side blades on the retreat. They lose Savis for still all in the area. Avatos, big jump through, right. kills off Whitemon. Do they do anything else afterwards? Still in Aegis, still reincarnation. Oh, Carl jumps through, He's almost kills Zavis and will get him. Carl gets held back up. The Chakra regening and Polaris, the slowest escape in the history of the world because they will waddle out of here. 
TA going for this Aghanim Scepter so she can be both mm. farming across the whole map and then also still there in the midst of a team fight if things start popping off. These traps are really well yeah. spread all across the map. But yeah. Polaris? You combine that with Cuddle Recall. Yeah. Oh, both teams smoke into each other. Jump forward, Remnants immediately. Catches on two, but no, the hook's up, and trouble. now they got him. Doom immediately drowned onto the Ember, and the rest of them wanted to take this fight. They will go for a quick pick on to that DP, but afterwards, Carl pops BKB, kills off the AA, and so the trade is a support for a support in the mid, again favoring T1. And then things get ugly, but maybe with an Aegis, it becomes possible. Arcane Rune it Storm with back. an Aghanim Scepter. Do they realize that this is going no on? Vision. It doesn't look like it. So they will get a free Aegis Refresher. Jumps in, finds a couple. It's a pull on to two. Will it be enough, though, for a kill? And they just run away with one now. Trying to get the Sideblade Spill, but it's not enough. Cheese, they though. pop the cheese. Force stays alive. Now the fear. Oh, it's so strong. They will take okay. one life of the Wraith King, but can they get out afterwards? Natsumi turns a good avalanche toss onto both of them, hitting a hell of a no lot of damage. Stops. And Zephyr gonna get caught, Remnant through onto two, tries to jump Can't away again. Lelouch has to back out. Yeah. Plays really good interference for the rest of his team after that DP kill. Oh, oh no, the Infernal Blade finds him though. Oh, he was oh my TPing God, out of the trees. Yeah, he was TPing out. I, I don't know if it was a long TP, it may have. Been, but he just got found by an infernal blade and got oh, caught picked no. off but ember can't do it because doom is like hugging the back line well in that case the supports were kind of in the front but doom's just like hugging his teammates and basically saying i know ember wants to jump this hero so i'm going to stand next to them and if ember jumps them i'm going to either get doom off from him or scare him away but Davis. this time around they maybe got doom they got the ice blast on him cuckoo down very low yeah. Not Tries to find the back line there. Gabby beaten into force, but able to get enough separation. Mavis is already dead. Gabby going to TP out of there. And Zavis trying to survive. But Carl, his BKB is just too strong. And now Cuckoo comes back in for round two. They find force again. Oh. They don't want to buy back Picked on the part. Ember, but it's going to come back to haunt him. Now, they do have another life left over for Natsumi. So he should be able to walk out of this one freely. Yeah. But a nice victory again for T1. He knows with BKB like down, he cannot team fight, but five seconds, six seconds is enough. I mean, it's really like four to five because he has to TP while he's still a BKB. He, he kills a hero and just gets out. Storm, Turn. oh, stun, but the big stomp afterwards. Oh, Catch to both stop. of the Doom is down. They got him caught. Carl, though, making some trouble. He still has that Ice Blast on him. No Five back, triple Remnant Ford. Finding Gabby, it's enough for the kill. Carl right. does manage to TP out, and it looks like they he's going to live through the Ice Blast. Ice Blast. Oh. They, they bought out. Zephyr, he's in the trees. Ooh, oh my god, he got that away. That would have been a big find. He did have buyback, but Roche time is is approaching. They're going to be looking to control that Roche area of the map. Although you were kind of reaching that point where everyone's like got too many items. Like I mean, Storm's got null, so he he can easily drop a null Ooh. for an Aegis. Zavis yeah. reveals himself. Silence. Oh, no fire. Jump forward, trying to kill him. Will it be enough? Carl goes right in, able to get the pull there onto two. Lelouch. Finding the Death Prophet, eventually they kill her off. Natsumi, down very low, is going to get popped. But he does have another life afterwards. So one for one so far, and that should be the extent of it. I do kind of feel like the Scotty and just having a casual yeah. plate mail is super value against this TA. Yeah, this, this Viper's survive. getting stronger. Yeah, and I think Viper is going to be key for players to have a chance here late game, but hold that thought. Nullifier. Maybe it's in they trouble. Yeah, afterwards, that's to me onto one. Do they have enough? The pullback onto two. The hook stump afterwards. They got them all caught. Oh, oh my God. The devastation it. as they take them all down. A triple kill from Carl. That's to me hoping to hold on for all he's worth, but he does not have nearly enough in the tank to deal with all these heroes at once. So he will drop no the ultra kill. Oh, that's it. That's it. it it's over. Yep. So there, there is a chance that they can maybe hold. I mean, Again, with yeah. no Wraith King, it feels very tough, but there's a chance. Looks like they're going to give up multiple lanes. T1 may just get the Megas here, but a lot of the time where they're actually letting Polaris maybe respawn here, just because they are afraid of those buybacks, it it went from, you know, like a 5 or 10% chance to like a 1% chance, it feels like. So it's, Another. yes, technically not over. <laughs> Always the best <laughs> kind of not over. Another one of those things where they feel like you keep on saying the phrase, if this, then that, but nothing's worked out well for Polaris so far in this game. They got stalled out for so long. Xavius throws his body on the line for the Coddle, just desperately wants to take down 
Zephyr that has been so frustrating to play against for this whole team. It's like they waited to finish that next item or two, waited for their cooldown, waited for double doom, and yeah. now they're ready to go. No fuss, no muss. T1, they want to go to the major. They want to have a spot there uh, where they feel like they deserve to be. And well, winning game one here is certainly a big push in that direction as they find him again. Jump in. Lelouch in trouble. Going to get caught. Just dropped every damn thing on him. Carl Godlike. They will throw out another Ice Blast here, so Cuckoo might finally get punished a little bit, but instead just walks forward. Now goes in for the Doom. Five fours, remnants through, but is it going to be nearly enough? I don't think so. They find that Viper. He's dead again. They're doing so much damage from Lelouch, but in the end, it is not enough as they finally focus down these buildings. The support, Death Prophet, takes care of business with this exorcism going, and Gabby just way too strong at this point. Yeah. Uh, Carl just jumps in and refreshes. He used refresher for double vortex just to kill that ember. He's not done. He's in a gang with a multi hero vortex. Oh, and she into the meat put grinder. An emphasis. Yeah, that was uh, that was a beatdown, man. 55k yeah. gold lead is the highest I've seen in a while. <laughs> Which is, you know, it's a game where for a good 20, 25 minutes, Polaris, you know, in some ways maybe felt like they were in control, but. Taking a, a look at this mid lane for now. Last game we saw Lelouch. Can, it feels like just less aggression in the mid lane. I feel like last game, like they were just constantly dueling and trading harass at this stage of the lane. But maybe oh. that's. I spoke too soon. Lelouch is ready oh. to go with the Mavis rotation. Oh, He's so close, close, but a good move over from Probably White Bottom. Might be enough. Natsumi's oh, showing no. up. Oh, cancels that teleport, but Carl yeah. able to dodge it. That I was, think he had to. That, oh, oh, they just lose one. The clockwork the dies behind the, the tower. Yeah. Bugner just walks in and finishes them off. That was the thing. You see Clockwork's weakness there. He doesn't have boots, no wind lace. Like, this hero is, you know, not bad base move speed, but yeah, they're going in on Carl again? No. Okay, maybe it's thought about it, but not looking to dive move. He said it's top. Ooh, they take down Gabby. Gabby. That's down. a big kill. That's a really nice one. He's not. TPs are expensive, and, you know, he's a greedy mid, so he's like, I'm not buying no TP scroll. And you yeah. can see that across all the lanes, it's looking pretty good for Polaris. It is. Yeah. I, um, they can kill this Pugna. That'd be nice down bottom. The This is, I mean, theoretically, Clockwork, you know, should be the answer to Pugna. Great door to jump on top. Battery Assault stops Pugna casting any spells. But, you know, it's it's always in theory because there's a reason not many teams are picking Clockwork. But so far, the Clock Pick has looked all right. Oh, and a good dodge. Natsumi drops down a Sprout. Doesn't really stop the aggro. And it looks like with Cuckoo there, they will be able to play cleanup. So... A nice rotation from Carl secures the kill, and Lelouch, oh. with that rotation, wasn't able to get anything in return. So he'll probably force Carl into a pretty early BKB pickup. May even just go for it first item. I, I wouldn't be too surprised to see that. Found. Oh, that silence. It's so annoying. It sends us people, but I can't handle it. Okay. Won't even get a chance to get the one dot. I think even if he popped the one, he dies to the ball lightning chase, so... Everything at stake here in game number two for, for both teams, particularly Polaris, who it's do or die. Pop in dragon form. Lelouch finds White Mon again, and Mavis there as well. This should give Clockwork six if they can get this kill on the other side. They bring in force. Cuckoo, he's caught. He's dead. So a couple quick kills give right. the supports level six before they even happen. And I mean, this is great for Polaris right now. Vision there forces back T1 again, but it's just forced back to get into position for a smoke. Blink Dagger, DK, who do they find right at the start? Zephyr, smoke breaks. They know that Force is over here. Doesn't have Arena for 24, actually. And the jump in, they find him. Disruption immediately afterwards with the stun. Cuckoo now into trouble. Caught, can he get healed back up? But they immediately break it. Cuckoo now being forced what away. Natsumi trying to go for punch to punch, but off to the side, they do manage to find the Grim. It comes at a cost, though, and now Gabby moving in as well. They got to get that out of here. A good Cogs, but in the end, not enough follow up damage. This might be another one here. Cuckoo, Dragon Form running down to about a quarter left with Force in the area. They could think about going here with an Infest play and the jump forward. Don't even need to. Xavius again there for the save. Blink out in a moment, but didn't have it in time. And Force gonna get caught, gonna get killed. E1 again but making things happen, but down trade. bottom, they yeah. get him. The setup, the clockwork sets up. The Nature's Prophet follows up. 
the big initiation on the, the DK into all of them, but they're kind of giving up ground where they can. All right, can he get in there and make some more stuff okay. happen, though? They have Gabby nice. over behind nice. some Ancients. Do they find the right angle? Jump in, spear immediately, and they've got everything to drop down on top of them. Pushes push him out. outside of the arena, but right. it's not going to matter. Still goes down. Now Whitemon also has some trouble. Suddenly, everything has fallen apart for T1. They lose the Tier 2, and now Carl goes in. BKB tries to find the kill. The cleanse. Ooh, oh, save it. The cleanse that keeps the cleanse. him alive. Oh, jeez. Yes. And now Carl, Ooh. he's in trouble. They miss completely on the spear, but it's not going to matter. Carl is dead, too. And, oh, oh no, not Cuckoo. Smoke. Not Cuckoo, oh. too. And he's done. Oh, and he's no, just so barely. Close. They just have too much chain stun. And Life Drain is not a save the same way. Like, it's not a combo breaker. Like, you just mm. can keep using all your spells. Disruption, that'll save you. Although, maybe not when you're the one getting stunned up. Cuckoo, he goes down. Does have oh. to BKB, though. And, I mean, he doesn't he's got have a TP. Yeah. That's Zumi. Oh, Mavis comes on in and finds him again from downtown. A couple Let's more punches. Clock. You can take my Shadow Demon, but Clockwork will end you. Hey, what's Carl doing? Carl. Uh, he's Carl. He's getting question mark. That's Carl. what he's doing. <laughs> Carl, BKB what's in happened, a second? man? Oh, no. Not like this. Where, where's the All pause? 47% right. packet loss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need to see it. And they also get level 20 now for le for Nature's oh. Prophet. Oh, Gabby's going to get it broken. Sprout Leash, no TP for you. Oh, it's too strong. Oh, it's too strong. So sick. You love to see it. Storm and Life Stealer Pickers getting beat down by a Nature's Prophet. And Polaris just showed up. Okay. I think it's so tricky because it's almost like they have to go on this Shadow Demon because of that demonic cleanse being such a high value uh save spell as well as well as a disruption of course you could just disrupt someone who gets gone on oh. so they're not done this time oh they, there's the shadow demon yep and that's this maybe gonna be a slightly better yeah. fight here for polaris immediately tps out with everybody else yeah so yeah heads up they, play you kill one support and just like spent the entire last like 90 seconds like really trying to force a fight so i think polaris farming ultra on the map are gonna feel like you know they did a good job cutting oh. their losses and not just cutting their losses but lelouch is finding some some sneaky little pickoffs here to kind of even the scores. Yeah, that sentry just out of range, and now they find him again. And in trouble, Carl gonna be caught, gonna be leaked. But the turnaround, Cuckoo there. BKB was not popped. Do they have anything else left in the tank? Cuckoo still trying to run down Natsumi. He's gonna TP away himself. Oh, and do they have enough damage? They do. So take down Ooh. the Nature's Prophet, a much needed kill. It's so much gold for Gabby. Where they are, they scan them. They know there's a warden on this cliff, most likely. That's why they don't want to just walk up and like face rush it they want to come in from behind but they're going to be it's revealed soon mavis down takes away their vision afterwards do they jump on immediately shadow demon ulti out and they're just going to be able to walk away no in some trouble now they take down Xavius. he has to back out so both supports dead and there was no follow-up oh man yeah. t1 i mean they're 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 getting some lifeblood in them right now almost impossible to to do because you're playing into storm this storm's number one priority is always going to be shadow demon uh, you know, life's tough for a support, and uh, that's something, you know, you want to keep punishing for, for both sides. Gabby trying to beat that face right in front of him. Remnant's in immediately. Waymon knows it's coming. Can't do a thing oh, about bash? it, though. But the bash, that was pretty good. But afterwards, the break onto both. They do find him, though. Carl actually going on the Nature's Prophet, and now another Demonic Purge. So no overload charges for him. Force gets saved. Oh, my God. They're ripping him to pieces there. Now stunned, now controlled. Force still living through it. Do they have enough left in the tank, though? Natsumi turning, wanting to fight. The Scotty doing a decent amount, but it's not enough. And actually, Natsumi's going to go down, too. They outlasted him there with the buyback from Cuckoo. And now T1 are going to run it down. Oh, boy. That's huge. That's Roshan. That's maybe even more. Uh, they ran out of damage, like you said. Combination of, you know, the... the ember spirit going in for other kills and so yeah there's there, there we go four man smoke they want to come this isn't necessary i mean obviously they'd love to find initiation get a pick off win a fight but this is also just a vision smoke they just got 25 on storm has the overload bounces Ooh. and big one Lelouch jumped right at the start the they BKB find it, but the bkb good reaction but they found the backline 
Sabi is caught in some trouble, tries to get away, but it's not gonna happen. Buys back afterwards, wants to get into this fight. Mavis, control on Zephyr. The jump through, and they find the kill onto Whitemon. Now back into the fight for the round two of this one. Can they kill him on the low ground? Lifestealers in no man's land. Everybody's getting caught right now by the Demonic Purge. And Carl goes in for another catch. Will it be enough damage? Natsumi living, disarmed, tries to get out of there, but the bash comes out. They take him down. Has buyback, oh, or are they gonna commit it now? They don't have enough. Oh, the infest and the heal from Gabby helping out there. They're chasing, looking for more. I mean, again, if you can take this, get in there, steal the, the Aegis, uh, or just even the, the Agonim. They're trying to block Either it. one would be clutch. Has another Who's trying to block for it. it. Ooh, no, they won't get it. Just couldn't find the angle. Oh, and now he's been And now they out. got him. Mavis in trouble and going to die. And this is yeah. Aegis cheese and an Aghanim's passed over to Cuckoo. So now he's catching up in farm too. They're trying to find a fight up top. Cuckoo yeah. infested inside his life stealer. Zephyr's baiting. He's got a heart of Tarask on Pugna. You talk about defensive items, Pugna's like, I'm getting hard. <laughs> and BKB, he's charging forward. Blink. BKB TP out, it's gonna be close. Oh no, Oh, he got hit by the bash. Happen. Or the Unreal. Abyssal, sorry, but yep. Yeah, they got him. Got him. This is uh, it's a little bit wild, but I, I did not even see the buildup to the heart. But uh, I guess Zephyr was sitting on a lot of gold, and yeah, I mean Ember, Ember has a hex. Yeah, how are they gonna kill Zephyr? He's <laughs> fighting the hell. Oh, they got the damage to kill this uh, DK here. The refresh yeah, the hex. Scotty. Everything. Drop all the remnants in the wall, but Cuckoo able to live through it afterwards. Pops the cheese. It doesn't heal dead. him up all the Carl's way. Out of mana. Carl, but out of mana. Natsumi now turned here. upon. Broken, Sabius, he's caught him there to the side, but now he pushes him inside the sprout. Now the oh. clocks catching onto both of them. Do they have enough? No, Coral just turns, blows them up. They didn't stand a chance. Yeah. Once Lifesteal shows, once Lifesteal gets on top of Nature's Prophet, it's just really bad for, for Polaris. They've got this morning purge. Lifesteal doesn't even care. He's like, I'm not even trying to move. I'll just happily sit here. 5,000 health. So I'm trying to go. At this point, oh, Storm with a regen. Basically, if you're going to buy back, make sure you're getting those trades. Um, but yeah, the storm, the storm's the key here. This hero just does so much damage in any fight. They move out and smoked up. There is a ward over behind the Radiant Cuckoo. Finds the clockwork right at the start. They pop down the ulti right away and Mavis going to die here. Now Gabby jumps in, tries to find Xavius, not going to be able to get him. That's one round of the ulti, but then the infest away. And they're the fine. The backline, though, so, ooh, actually killing him off. Has to remnant away very quickly as the BKB came out. And now oh, looking for though. the chase down. Oh, Carl. BKB, he BKB. can chase a little bit more. And the BKB out. After Ooh, all the missile. the missile, though. They find him. Oh. And with that, Lelouch in so much trouble. Gets killed off. That should oh. be Roshan. He can buy back. It always feels like you'd rather maybe just give up Roshan. And... He can kite Cuckoo for now. They yeah. know he's over here. They're doing a really good job of waiting this out. Again, 30 yeah. seconds until Ember. You don't want to give this up if you can avoid it, but oh, they initiate onto Zephyr right away to start. I don't know if that was the buyback. Now Carl yeah. jumps to the other side. I, Very strange. I don't, I don't think you should be going for that Roy steal when you don't buy back. Clockwork, it's a small thing, but his, you know, BKB piercing hook shot. There's a lot of things you need him for in a team fight. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, they're going to try their best again to slow down this pressure. All of the lanes are pushed out right now. I think Natsumi was thinking about cutting the other Xavius. one. Or catapults mid, but they find him. Xavius in trouble. Coral, though, he just zips away again. He knows his limits perfectly. Gets He's away from there, too. but the jump in. He's All in. Back in. Can they take him down? Do they have enough for the Gabby life stealer? They don't. The heals are coming from Zephyr. They're never going to stop. You can root him. You can try and control him, but you don't have the damage. Natsumi oh, does man. have buyback. We're so low, but it just doesn't and matter. This heart pug that is so insane He's, like carl pushes his hero to the limit he zips in he gets away in a sliver of health he drops his items to use a cheese re-engages i want to see how much healing this pugna does with the other one <laughs> yeah players aren't out of this yet it's very desperate times but it's not completely hopeless disruption goes in force they're behind. looking for the opening Tries to find the back line. They can't catch Whitemon. They got the Pugna. Right there. They do find the Pugna, though. Do they have enough damage to bring him down? The Hex, they're out. All the damage in the world. Mavis tries oh, to keep Cuckoo out of the fight. He is going to pop. They finally bring down the little green man. 
but the blue monster shows back up. Carl down relatively Got low. Rapier. They're going to lose Rapier. on top of him. Is it going to be enough? Do they have it? Turn, jump, tries to bring him down. Natsumi so low, and it isn't enough in the lens as Rapier on the deck. But they're going to focus down buildings. Don't even need the Rapier. Dead for two minutes as T1 take full advantage of this disgusting draft that they've pulled together <laughs> and are going to take the last set of racks. Yep. I don't know if there's anything left to defend here. Cuckoo picks up the Rapier. They're going for the throne. They're going for the Tier 4 Towers. And Storm, he's in the fountain. A yeah, couple more kills Why on not? their way out. Mavis, he just can't stop it. Jumps in. GG. Gratz is called T1. Going to be the last representative from Southeast Asia. Yep. T1, a team who had a slow start. They actually lost. They got 2-0'd by this Polaris team. I think it back in like week one or week two. But here they are. They... You know, they claw their way back into a tiebreaker scenario despite losing to Fnatic and Boom, and they get a chance to get that revenge. 